Welcome to my video on how to use Win Utilities Free Edition to speed up your computer. Win Utilities is an all-in-one cleaner and optimization suite which has a collection of tools to optimize and speed up your system. Win Utilities can make your Windows operating system faster and more secure and all configuration changes are completely safe as they are monitored by the Win Utilities Rescue Center and can be undone at any time. I would say that Win Utilities is one of the best free optimization suites out there. So let's begin by downloading the free version of Win Utilities from the CNET website and the link can be found in the description box below. So press download now. This will obviously be a little bit different depending on what web browser you use. So save the file. I'll just skip it along in this video. Okay, so once the file is saved, open the file to run the installer and press run. Next. Make sure you accept the agreement. Press next. Unless you want to change this for any reason, it's fine to keep it on default. Press next. Next again. I want to create a desktop icon myself, but not a quick launch. Next. And then install. It doesn't take very long, as you can see. And once that's done, we can launch Win Utilities. So this is Win Utilities Free Edition version 9.96. Before I look at the modules tab, I'm going to go to the one-click maintenance tab first. So if you go to that, now if you want to speed up your system quickly, then this tab will do the job. It runs all of the main modules one after another, and you can select or deselect the modules that you want to run by clicking the checkbox to the left of the module name, like so. And if you just want to leave it running on its own and come back later, then you can choose to put a checkbox in the turn off computer after one click maintenance. So that does what it says. And optionally, you can put a checkbox in the analyzers and defragments disk drives. Now that takes a bit longer than the other modules, depending on how fragmented your disk drive is. I usually do that one separately rather than include it in the one click maintenance myself. This entire process, if you use the default checkboxes only, should take around two minutes depending on the state of your system so I'm going, going to run the one click maintenance now when it's done each process it puts a tick by it and it automatically uh, fixes the errors or deletes the files depending on the module it automatically does that there's no second stage there won't be much problems for it to fix for me because I've done it quite recently hopefully there will be for you okay so it's now completed the one click maintenance and you should notice a significant difference in your speed especially if you've had your computer for a while and haven't done any of these utilities before if we go back to the modules tab now you can choose to run each module separately rather than using one click maintenance so you may only want to do uh, a disk cleanup so you can press the disk cleaner and then each and every module has a very clear explanation of what it does and why it speeds up your computer and I think for perhaps the less experienced computer user it can be very useful and it's something that many other optimization programs don't include so I think that's quite good that it explains what it's doing and that's the case with pretty much every module on here as you can see there's another description for the registry cleaner now there are quite a few modules in the modules tab that aren't included in the one click maintenance such as the shortcuts fixer that can be quite useful so you choose the hard drive that you use the most if you use more than one hard drive select the other one as well and it searches for shortcuts that are invalid and will then remove them so on my computer no invalid shortcuts were found okay that of that module there's an uninstall manager not much different from the default one gives you a little bit more information about it if you find that useful on the optimize and improve button on the left here so another two modules that are very important if you want to speed up your system is the registry defrag and the disk defrag so if we look at the registry defrag first this window will pop up now I advise doing this step with no other programs open to avoid any bugs so I'm not actually going to do it myself but it's very simple you press next it takes a bit of time to analyze it 
uh, you press next again and then you choose to defrag the registry and then you have to restart your computer it will prompt you so you restart your computer and that step is done ok the other important one is disk defrag which as I said before you can choose to do it in the one click maintenance but I prefer to do it separately so you choose the disk drives here by putting a tick in the checkbox next to the drive you want so you can choose multiple drives if you use more than one for instance I have a second disk although I don't use it I could choose to press that and it also does have the option to select a USB flash drive if I have one connected as well it's also very useful so you set the drives you want and you press defrag and then it goes through the process that can vary on how long that takes depending on how fragmented your drive is uh, the memory optimizer I don't usually use that I don't see much of a speed increase from using it so I don't bother uh, the startup manager that's quite useful a bit more of an intuitive screen than the uh, default MS config startup manager so if we now go to the privacy and security button now the history cleaner the one click maintenance does most of that already but you can go into more depth there for different browsers and exactly what you want to remove if you so wish also a useful process security that shows all the processes that are currently running on your computer shows you uh, whether this program knows that it's trustworthy or not so that can be quite useful an exe protector allows you to put a password on an executable file file shredder if you want to uh, permanently remove files rather than deleting it through windows and through the recycling bin this can be used to get back files that you've accidentally deleted and if we go into the files and folders button same thing here except um, not with executable files now so you can also put a password on a document so a picture or video file duplicate files fine this will uh, gain some disk space it looks for um, files that are identical to each other and then it deletes one of them I don't find this file splitter and joiner terribly useful and the registry tools button now there's a backup and restore for the registry here which I haven't seen many programs have before myself um, so perhaps you might want to do that if you're going to try something different on your computer and you're not certain if it's going to work so not only can you back up your hard disk but you can also back up your registry and a registry search as well sometimes when you're changing uh, the registry for a program it's easier to search for it rather than use the default Windows one where you have to uh, know its file location and finally on the system tools now the system control module here now some of this can be a little bit confusing uh, you don't really need to worry about the first four the last two may be quite useful the auto shutdown you can um, tell it to do the action after a certain amount of time if you know you want to leave it on for a certain amount of time and then automatically shut it down and the network and internet option here you can press the recommended button to change your settings to what they recommend and if you see uh, an increase in speed you can test it and if you notice an increase in speed keep the settings if you don't you can come back here and press the default button again to return it to the default values so I'm going to press recommended for now and press apply and OK now the task scheduler which isn't that great anyway uh, that's only available for the pro version as you can hear, see here it's not available for the free edition so ok um, system information yes yeah, it's quite useful many programs have this feature as well it tells you uh, system information about your computer lots of general stuff your operating system of your 64 bit lots of folders your processor cache lots of information that can be useful and you've got extra tabs up here to go through as well so that can be useful when you need to know information about your computer again I've already talked about the auto shutdown that's very similar and finally this one here just shows some useful functions that are actually already built into Windows but many people don't know about so you can run them straight from this program here and just to let you know you can schedule tasks in the Pro Edition, but the Free Edition that not available. 
And finally, this last tab here tells us the status of your computer and the program status, what version it is, etc. That concludes my video on how to use Win Utilities Free Edition to speed up your computer. I will be making some more speed up videos in the near future. I hope you enjoyed my video. Feel free to rate and comment, and please subscribe if you found my video useful. Thanks for watching.